Uh, Paul, we had to graft for that, and graft we did. Yeah, I said um, I said before the game that I, I, I knew this was a case of just having to grind it out and have a really disciplined performance. I thought in the first half when we picked up those three yellow cards with Morgan and, and Hunt and JK, I thought, oh mm, dear, we'd, you know, it was about keeping 11 players on. I thought second half we showed much better composure, better discipline about us. Um, and it wasn't a pretty game of football. The pitch doesn't allow a pretty game of football. Um, but you have to come to places like this and you've got to grind out results against teams who are fighting for their lives. And um, that's what we've certainly done today. And in a game like this, you score early, you don't have to give yourself a chance. Oh, massive. Um, what a great calm finish as well. Um, really pleased with JK. He's, he's, it's a little bit uncomfortable for him. He's out of position a little bit. Um, but he finished his goal really, really well. Showed good composure, good pace as well. Um, and he possibly could have had another couple first half. Um, I just think it, it wasn't a, it wasn't a great game of football. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to lie, but it's a brilliant result in front of an incredible support. You mentioned the composure second half. I felt there was that there with football in the first half as well. We didn't look too troubled in that first five, five minutes. No, no, we didn't in the first half. Um, and we said it was just a, it, whoever could just eliminate mistakes would win the game today. It was about just not making mistakes, just being really safe, doing the basics well. And um, I thought we did. I thought we did do the basics well. And, you know, we, we had a couple of times where we created things, and, but we didn't quite find the right pass at the end of it, um, particularly at the start of the, first, of the second half. Um, but it was about just seeing it through, and thankfully we did. You mentioned JK, that assist from Deno, JK was through, and again, it's, you've got that feeling, young old head on young shoulders, that he's going to finish it. Yeah, yeah, good, great composure. Um, I mean, he's, he's, he's battled away up front today. I thought he was a little bit unlucky to get the, the yellow card, because he, he, he isn't the sort of malicious type. I think he's just put his arms up to try and sort of get his balance and protect himself, and, it, and he's caught the, the centre-back in the face or wherever he caught him. I thought he was a little bit harsh. Um, I mean, thankfully, nothing else came of any of the yellow cards. You know, we, the, the big one that disappoints me is that referees tell us that our captain's the one who should go and speak to the ref. So Morgan goes and speaks to him, and he gets a yellow card for it. And I don't really get that, but hey, listen, um, I don't think it was his day today, the referee. Um, thankfully, it hasn't cost us. I was going to say, we don't need to discuss. There were some contentious decisions. It doesn't matter. What does matter? Three more points. That three in a row that you wanted. Yeah, yeah, it's it's the uh, it's the the sort of monkey off our back in terms of three wins. Um, now we have to go four. We've got to go and get a run together. I've said it before. I was really jealous when I heard the other week about Man United winning ten on the trot. Um, I know that's pie in the sky, that's dreamy stuff, but let's go and try and get four on the trot in what is a really good game to look forward to at home on Tuesday night. And what we got was a team performance. That was grit and determination from one to eleven. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it's. Um, I mean, even the lads who were on the bench who didn't get an opportunity to come on, they they were with it as well, and they were, um, you know, they they were willing it through to the end as well. So. It's a, it, it, it's a case of just everybody sticking together, everybody grinding these results out, ticking each game off as they go along, and uh, let's see where it takes us. And in a way, with the goal that was chalked off at the end, that's again calm defending, keep your position, he's offside, <laughs> and, it, and the flag goes up. Yeah, yeah, it shouldn't happen. Um, we shouldn't have given the free kick away in the first place. We shouldn't have allowed the first contact on theirs, um, but we did have a good line and, and allowed it to play offside. And thankfully, um, the linesman on the far side was doing his job and, and I don't understand why he didn't flag early enough. Maybe he wasn't sure who actually headed it on, um, but it was the correct decision. You know, Hunter said he was definitely offside. Um, so thankfully, um, we got the right decision and we managed to get the win. Confidence must be soaring in that dressing room. Um, I, I don't. I don't really know. I mean, I'm. I'm really enjoying it. Um, you've got to enjoy it when you're fourth in the table um, and we're picking up results. Um, I just think you've just got to keep going. You know, I'm. I'm not. I, I am really enjoying it. My face isn't showing at the moment, but that's because there's 19 games to go, and I just. I'm determined to keep them going. I'm determined to keep the standards right. Um, we have to come in every day and train. You know, I said to them on Friday, we're probably looking at 42 training days and 10 match days between now and the end of the season if it gets completed in the 46. Um, so for 52 days, we have to be absolutely bang on. And we've, if we do that properly, I think there's enough ability in there to go and make it a good finish to the season. You've said before, target one for every game is a clean sheet. Thomas has played a part in that. What a save to help the lads keep the clean sheet that they worked for. Yeah, definitely. I thought we worked hard to stop crosses today. Um, we worked hard up against the 
to start with against two pacey strikers in Meller and, and Rodney. And then there was a different challenge that came on with the two big lads, with Henderson and Quigley, and then they put Sinclair on and Odo Why It was proper gung-ho stuff that it, we'd just put our tin hats on and Morgan and, and Hunt and even Mel's was a different type of performance from John Mellish today. Last, the last one, it was a marauding outside centre-back getting forward on overlaps and underlaps and causing problems. Tonight he was disciplined, uh, this afternoon, sorry, he was disciplined in the way he defended and he stuck to his task. And um, Thankfully, Thomas has had to make certainly one save um, in the second half, but coming and taking crosses as well. And, and that's what he's there for, so uh, long may that continue. Same 11, this competition for places, are these lads really fighting to keep this year, as well as the others who are fighting to take it off? Yeah, they are. I mean, it's, um, it was always going to be a big ask. There were some tired bodies today. Um, I'm going to have to have a think about it for Tuesday night. That's, that's the next challenge for us, to make sure we pick the right 11 who've got energy again. Um, but these guys are they're, they're putting a shift in for us, you know, every single one of them, um, and hopefully they'll keep doing it. 1600 plus, you loved it when you came out of the tunnel. What was it like at the end there to celebrate in front of them? Well, I said to the players at half time, start getting a picture in your mind about what it can be like at the end, and that that's just fantastic. I mean, you know, we. I, I was going to say I'm not surprised, but they still do surprise us because they keep turning up in the numbers and. Um, They've, they've made a brilliant atmosphere. The noise they made first half was incredible. They stayed with the team and then they can all enjoy that end there when, they, when the players go and thank them for, the, for what they've done as well. That's still not your problem, but if they play like that, you'd think that they'll have enough battle in them to, to get out of this. Possibly, um, but you've got to score goals, haven't you? Um, so, um, as you said, it's not my problem. My concern is Carlisle United. I'm really pleased with where we are at the moment after 27 games. And I'm really looking forward to Tuesday night now. Massive game. Uh, as you've said, you'll look at the team, you'll assess how the boys are, but that is a big game, one big crowd, we'll all enjoy it. Yeah, yeah, we've got to. We have to make sure we enjoy it. But you only enjoy it if you do it properly and you get a result, and that's that's not what our next challenge is. We've got to make sure we look after ourselves on Sunday, make sure they recover properly, come again in, come into the club again on Monday and, and, and really be ready to go again on Tuesday night with another big performance that hopefully gets us three points. Oh, thank you.